Hi, I'm Onisa Klein here at the GBTA Broadcast Studio. It's great to be here and back with Mr. Tony DeStoffo. Welcome back, Tony. Thank you so much. It's great to be back. <laughs> Third time's a charm, right? Yeah, exactly right. So he, a man that needs no introduction, but Tony is the Senior Vice President for North America for Zeno by Serco. And so, Tony, uh, GBTA recently distributed, uh, described, I should say, sustainability as the mega trend of the century for business travel. So it's the buzzword. Yeah. But there's a lot of information out there on sustainability, right? And it can be overwhelming. And everybody's talking about sustainability, sustainability, sustainability. What steps do you recommend organizations take to deliver a carbon neutral travel program? Okay, so my first recommendation is to find the person at your company that owns this. Uh, and if you don't have somebody that owns it, right, find, you know, go to your senior level executive and say you want to own it, right? So the, the biggest thing I think is, is oftentimes difficult, as we've seen in, in travel, is finding the executive sponsor to take the travel program to the next level to do whatever it is you want to do to understand the business. In sustainability, I think companies have, have woken up to this. There are definitely initiatives. There's a lot of ESG. Everybody's kind of in the game. So my guess is that somebody at your company owns this as an initiative, and so go find them, make a new friend, and then tell them what you're thinking in terms of, of uh, your travel program. The other thing I would do is, uh, you know, again, so once you find that person, it's like, how do I measure what we're doing? How do I create right. my baseline, right? right? So important. Yeah, then find good partners. So what, it is, what do I want to do with my program, right? Do I want to do offsets? Do I want to find a, a supplier-laden program where my, I know my suppliers are being more sustainable? Uh, and so that's the first couple of things. Find, find who owns it at the company, and then understand where you're at, and then where you want to go. Excellent, excellent. All good advice, and very, back to the basics, It, it right? really is, it right? really is. It's, it, it's not, there's I, I no like, rocket science here. Right, I like the baseline thing, because we had an old saying at my former company, what gets measured gets managed, right? right? if you don't so, know where to start, where right, are you going, right? right. You, know? you can't measure success. Yep. So one of the concerns a lot of travel managers have when addressing sustainability is ensuring the offset program they select is compliant and verified. So yep. same thing, but getting, yep. getting measured and managed, right? Mm -hmm. What questions would you recommend buyers ask when doing their due diligence? Uh, so again, I want to go back to a very basic one to say, um, do we have budget for it? All right, so people talk a good game, but if you're going to offset, then you need to spend money. And I think we're, we're at a very interesting time for travel where spend is significantly down. And so if you're going to come back and you're going to spend more money, you're going to try to develop a return on investment for travel. But if you're going to have a sustainability aspect and, and say offset, you, you're going to have to budget for it. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to spend some money to do that. And people are going to have to understand that this should be part of your budgeting going forward. Right. Right, so to me it's all about very basic stuff. Now, the other thing I will talk about that travel managers, they've been sourcing executives for years, and so they should apply the same basic principles that they've applied to buying, sourcing air, and sourcing hotel, and sourcing a travel agency, right? How do you find the right providers? How do you put together, if, you know, grab it's your same information? Approach. Very yeah, same, same approach, very same approach. You just apply it to sustainability, right? Good, good, that makes sense. So all of what we've discussed so far is very important, obviously, but in terms of measuring the impact uh, changes to your travel program are making, as well as tracking improvement over time, good data is critical, yes. right? Without data, you're dead. Yep. Um, what should travel managers be tracking or asking their suppliers to provide to ensure they're making progress towards and reaching their sustainability goals? Yeah, so, for, so I think you want to talk to your suppliers about uh, are they green, uh, are they going green? What efforts are they doing to go green? And for, for the travel manager, you need to understand the difference in terms of carbon offsets. I was talking with someone earlier today about if I take a nonstop flight versus a connecting flight, my company in the old days might have said, take the connection because it's only an hour more and it's, only, and it's $50 less. But when you look at how much ca less carbon you're burning on the nonstop, maybe the decision shouldn't be lowest logical airfare. It should be a combination of things. Right. Lowest logical airfare plus most sustainable or balance out 
you know, let's balance out right. the two. Factor so I, that into the equation. Yeah, so you, got, you know, it's, it's kind of thinking about sustainability in a way that it's part of your program, right? right? Now for us, we've invested a ton of, um, a ton of effort here. We announced our, our kind of new sustainability program, which is a combination of information at the point of purchase. Mm -hmm. So show me the difference in terms of carbon that will be burned by t making these selections. Uh, simple things like the little green leaf and letting people know what that means is critical. It's like, oh, I didn't realize that that hotel is different you know, and from a sustain others. sustainability right. spec from the others, right? So you make little things like that, you make people understand that that's going on. And then I'm actually very impressed with, uh, GBTA has done a phenomenal job. There's now a sustainability committee. Mm -hmm. If you go to, the, to the, the hub, there's information there. So leverage what others have done. Leverage the community, the GBTA community in this particular case, to go out and just see what information is available. Don't try to do it on your own. There's a lot of people investing. So look, find that person at your company, uh, use your resources, right? Whether it's your, your booking tool provider or your suppliers, and then leverage the, the GBTA community, which is people that are, that are doing stuff and also providing information on the website. Yeah. You know what I love about this, this topic is that it's more than just the bottom line and the dollars and cents, yeah. it's doing the right thing. No, and the, right? other, the and other, other thing that's very interesting is that what we're finding is that um, the travelers want to get involved. Right. So yeah, right. Th this is a, 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 a new, this is a new yeah. demographic and they have it's important to them yeah it's very important to them to be to be doing the right thing right so yep. in the old days the right thing was staying at the preferred uh, hotel or or making sure that I'm buying within property uh, buying within the policy all of that is still important but you add this element now and then they're going to feel better about what they're doing and they they're, they're going to want to help the company get right. more green get to those carbon neutral positions right. so we're we're really bullish on it we think it's a differentiator in in Zeno uh, we're putting it right at the point of purchase. We've got a carbon offset partner in TEM, and so um, you know we're we're just hoping we can help the uh, help the neighborhood, the community of business travel get more environmentally friendly. That's great, Tony. Great stuff. Good news and all exciting, and it's just wonderful. Yeah. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, spending time with me today here at the broadcast studio. As always. My pleasure. Good to My be pleasure. with you. It's great so, to see you. Thank you so much, Tony. All right. We'll see you. I'm Monisa Klein here at GBTA Broadcast Studio.